This is Great Evangelism World Crusade. Pentecostal evangelism in rivers and bias of state, and even in the north, Apostle Numbere, as anointed as ever, is here to point out and correct errors in the body of Christ, and also to prepare the church for the rapture through his in-depth and balanced teachings of the word of God. The program cut-off will be aired every week on this channel at the same time. Question. Is it saving lives or making money in great evangelism we do not teach people how to make money we teach people how to make heaven how can we make this weak tube to be full this weak one volcanizer come can you please pump this weak tire for me i want you to see what is going to happen to that flat, that weak tube now? See what is happening. This thing that was flat, is it not the same tube? You see how? What did we do to bring this to this level? We, we pumped we... air. And the flatness began to expand. And this... The rubber began to expand. It took in air. And it expanded. See now, now it is ready to go. It's ready to go! It's ready to go! It's going! It's going! God wants to fool you to capacity. This your weak faith, this your little faith can grow. The level you are in faith, that little, little faith. Jesus said, oh, you of little faith. Wherefore did you fear? Wherefore did you doubt? Little faith will make you to doubt. Little faith will make you to fear. Jesus rebuked you. You need to grow. You have the capacity to grow. We are told in Jude 20. Jude is only one chapter. Jude 20. For Jude 20, Jude is only one book. But ye beloved but you my people when i like well well building up yourselves on your most holy faith make una de carry una self up they build una self up inside this una faith when they holy now check your spirit make you check your spirit are you fearful? Are you afraid? Fear they worry you. If they disturb you. It's a sign that your faith is weak. If you they fear every time, if they show say your faith is not strong. Now check your heart. Look inside your heart. Are you doubting the word? You they get double mind for the word of God? Are you always doubting, questioning? You they Get double mind every time. They ask questions. They argue every time. The promise of God. All the things when God don't promise you, you they get double mind. It's a sign that your faith is little and weak. If you they get double mind, it they show say your faith no strong and they small. Are you anxious? You your mind they worry you. They, 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 they about worry, tomorrow, worry. about your future. Are you anxious? Are you living a life of anxiety? Every time, worry they disturb you. If they worry for waiting to happen tomorrow, waiting I go be tomorrow, waiting I go chop tomorrow, how I go be tomorrow, that is they worry you. 
It's a sign that your faith is weak and little. If they should say your faith is not that strong and it is small. And finally, in Ezekiel chapter 12. The last place. Now for Ezekiel chapter 12. And verse 25. Number 25. Ezekiel 12, 25. For I am the Lord. Now me be the Lord. I will speak. I go talk. And the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. And the thing when I go talk go happen as I talk up. It shall be no more prolonged. It will not go day long again before it go happen. For in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word and will perform it, say the Lord God. Even the day when you get stubborn mind, now the day when I go talk, the thing when I won't talk, and I go do them as I talk them, that's so God talk. Rebellious Christians. People won't get stubborn mind. Faithless church. Church will not get faith. God says, I will say my word. God talks saying, go talk in word. And I will perform it. And he go do a machine talker. And today. Today. Has he spoken to you? God don't talk to you. He will perform it. He go do a machine talker. If you take in the word of God, your little faith shall grow. If you allow the word of God to enter inside you. God has spoken it. God, don't talk him. He will perform it. He go do it. You must live at a higher level in your Christian life. You never reach where God won't carry you reach for your Christian life. Everybody stand. Make all of us stand up. I want you to come toward the altar now. I want to make here. The church must grow in quality faith. Pump your faith. A Holy Spirit, the power, the engine is waiting for you and me. The Holy Spirit will be the power, will be the engine. If they wait for you and for me, make we pump our faith. I have grown, which you say, I have grown beyond little faith. We suppose. So God say, we don't grow past small faiths. Don't spend your days complaining, complaining, complaining. Sometimes you say, I'm not even sure I'm still a Christian. No, 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 no. You are going down. The mind of God that you go, grow, go into the word of God. Live a holy life, sanctified life. And you will see what God's power can do with you. No go, they waste your time. They complain. They run from one program, go another program, one pastor, go another pastor. Sometimes you don't work as a day. You don't even show again whether you be Christian or you not be Christian again. These are the things that make for spiritual growth. Jesus is coming to rapture a church without spot or wrinkle. He's coming to rapture a whole church. A complete church. My mind is to build you up in your most holy faith. I'm not concerned about the cars they use to exhibit, the buildings they acquire, the the property, the money they have. Those things don't matter. They will not make for heaven. Not one of them qualifies anybody for heaven. But what I'm teaching you here is what will qualify you go to heaven. The motor when then they they then they use. Who they are boasting about? When they, they take making yanka, the house when they they build, they can't teach you when they, they teach you now the ten m's of money and the ten use of money. He no consign me. If you get all that one, he no be certificate to go heaven. He no go fit give you certificate to go heaven. The thing when go make you heaven and the thing when they worry me and the thing when they teach you. God is looking for those who are ready. God, they look for those people when they prepare. When Christians they're who are ready. Christians when they are ready. Whose faith is little. When don't and be, weak. If you be said your faith is small and you know they are strong. To pump your faith. God, they look for you so that they can pump your faith for you. Put them free. Put them Put them free. You're going to enter. If you are ready for the pump 
of the Holy Spirit. Wave your hand to him. What testimony you had about Apostle Numberi can happen with you. The testimony, when they hear about Apostle Numberi, if it happened for you too, close your eyes and say, God, see me as I do now. God, help me. Help me. Help me. Tell your papa. I'm before you. Say, see me. See as I am. See as I did. Help my unbelief. Make you help my unbelief. Help faith my faithlessness. Help my faith. Where help my little faith. Help my faith. Where help you're strong. My small faith. Only born again Christians can ask for the Holy Spirit. So today, now you can be born again. Only when you don't be born again. Now you go feed, pray, may the Holy Spirit help you. But today you get a chance if you never dare born again. Make you dare born again today. If you want to be born again today, you want to receive Jesus Christ today in your life, raise your hand up, let me see. I want you to find your way to the front now. As many of you as want to give your love to Jesus Christ. Close your eyes. So close your eyes now. Say after me. Follow me, talk this when I want to talk. Lord Jesus, I come to you. A sinner to ask for your forgiveness, for your pardon. Pardon my iniquity. Pardon my iniquity. Jesus, forgive me. I have come to you today. Your word says you will not reject me. Here I am before you. Take me. I take you into my life. Jesus, I believe in you. Come into my life. And wash away my sins. And make me your child. I ask. In faith. I'm going to pray for you now. Almighty and everlasting Father. And Father of our Lord Jesus Christ and our Father. Who desires not. That the sinner should perish in his own sins. For this purpose, you planned salvation. Sent your son, your only begotten son, to come and to die for our sins, for the cleansing of our sins. And ever since you have been forgiving sins and you've been washing sins away, ever since you have been changing lives, making new creatures, out of old lives. You are the unchanging one, my father. You are the unchanging one, Jesus. You are the unchanging one, Holy Spirit. For this purpose, you saved me also. Cleansed me and forgave my sins. And gave me a calling to go and tell the story to others. That are still in where I was. This is the story we've told today, Lord. And today these have come forward, have decided that they want your experience. They want to experience your forgiveness. They want to prove that your promises are yea and they are amen. They want to prove that sins can be forgiven and iniquity pardoned. Oh, Heavenly Father, Thou unchanging one, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Arise now into thy walk. Arise now into the lives of men and women that are at your altar. And Lord, pour your blood and soak them into the blood of Jesus Christ. That this moment, that blood will clean them. That blood will wash away their sins. The blood that cleanses from every sin. Lord, I say, here we are, accept us. Oh, Holy Spirit.
Spirit of the living God. Arise into thy duty. Arise into thy work. Arise into thy assignment. As you convict them of sin. And convince them of Jesus Christ. That the work of regeneration begin in their heart now. The cleansing and the regeneration work. Work, work, oh Holy Spirit. That this day shall be a day of salvation. That will bring joy in heaven and in, on earth in your church. And here in your temple. That salvation be real. Yea, that they will have testimony that you touch them. Cancel their names from the book of death. And write it all new into the Lamb's book of life. Creating them a clean heart, O oh God. And renew a right spirit within them. That even now, this moment, their hearts be humbled. And that Lord, the truth of salvation dawn upon them. Receive Jesus into your life. That this day, the Lord give you a testimony of pardoned sins, of salvation. Be born again. Be a new creature. Amen. Be a child of God. Amen. In our Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. amen. This is the temple. The presence of the Lord is here. The remaining people, I want to tell you that say, this place is not a temple. God, power, they here. You have come with one problem or the other. If you say you come here with one problem, or you come with sick, or anything when they heavy you. As you are different, so your problems are different. As all of us, our face, they're different. And so our problem too, they're different. But you are standing on a holy ground. Oh, hallelujah. But that ground where you stand there, the holy ground, that problem will be solved. That problem, no go follow you, go back to your house. Don't just say amen with your mouth. Believe it. I am believing it on your behalf. You should believe it for yourself. That problem will be solved. Amen. The amen, I don't want to make it turn to chorus. If you didn't say the amen, make it come from your mind and make it the amen of faith. I tell you, say that problem, no go go back to your house with you. God can handle your problem. He can handle your situation. God, feet, handle your problem. If it take care of your problem, that's the way they worry you, God, go take care of him. Abraham was not weak in faith. Bible tell us, say, Abraham no allow his faith on the weak. An old man whose body had died. Old man, when we say, he no if he do anything again, his body don't die. His wife Bele is closed. His wife Bele said, he don't close. But God had made a promise. But God don't promise them something. That their body will come back alive. Say that their body will don't die. He go wake up again. The womb will bear a child. That belly went down, that went down close. Say so he go open again and he go carry picking. But even though their body was dead, but even though say their body don't die, because God had made that promise, but because God don't talk them, don't promise them. We are told Abraham staggered not at the promise. He was not one day on the left side of the promise, the next day on the right side of the promise. He was steady with the promise. Why would they tell us, say, Abraham no shake for the promise when God make for him. He no begin the waka go right, waka go left. Bible say, instant gidig back. Say, as God talk and as I believe him. He staggered not at the promise. He no begin the shake for the promise when God make for him. By the grace of God, I am an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
Say the only the grace of God. Now him as the apostle of Jesus Christ. And I have spoken as his prophet. And I don't talk as God prophets. That your problem God will handle. When I hear them at all. And they talk as God's own prophet. And waiting and they tell you they say. You don't go carry that problem. Come out here. Eh? God go remove that problem from your body. Now. Tell that problem to God. Put your hand on your pain. If it's demonic, put your hand on your stomach. Because that's where all the evil spirits reside. Flush them out. And get your healing. Cause that sickness. Don't cause your enemies. Don't pray for them to die. Don't pray that prayer. Cause the sickness. Bind the devil. Cast him out. And be free. You can pray in any language. Do not doubt. Do not fear. Be not anxious. If you don't have faith, the Holy Spirit cannot help you. Believe what you pray. Bring your prayers very close. Almighty and everlasting Father, and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ and our Father, blessed be your most holy name. When I remember your promises, I shout hallelujah. I shout because you are God. You are the big one. And there's nothing that is hard for you. You are the one that healed us. We all as patients are before you, our doctor. You don't need to go to test in the lab to know what the problem is. You are only science. You know all things. You know them. You know the diagnosis. And you are able to do far more abundantly, exceedingly abundantly than all we can ever think, ask, or pray for. The hidden sicknesses that we don't even know about, you know them. The microbes that are eating away our lives, you know their names. Great God, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of your name. Your name is a strong tower. The righteous run it into it and it's safe. Safety is of God. Therefore, in this difficult time in this country, yea, save your children in the north. Save your children here. Wherever your children are, the church is. Lord, may your power overshadow them. Even as your power overshadowed Israel from their enemies. May your power overshadow your church. Wherever your church is in this nation, and protect your people. Yea, we are praying for the sake of the evangelism. And the evangelization of Nigeria. Grant peace in this country. Grant peace so that the gospel will go unhindered. It is not your pleasure that the people of Nigeria should perish. Lord, open the door of mission. By granting peace. So we can move freely to any part of this country. Yea. For that sake, have mercy upon us. And pardon our iniquity as a people. For our sins are many. Yea. And the chickens have come to roost. We deserve every judgment. But we repent in dust and ashes. Be merciful unto us, O oh God. We pray for every state where there is problem. Oh God, we pray that the politicians of this country will be made 
humble. That they will never, never assume the positions of being God. You rule in the kingdom of men. Every disease that has taken hold of any organ in our body will cause at this moment. Be thou delivered. Be thou healed. And that every fear banish from your heart now. And that every disease be destroyed. Be made every with whole from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Let there be soundness. Let your heart be healed. Let your spirit be lifted up. And that you be made every with whole to the glory and honor of God Almighty. In our Jesus' name. Digging Deep, another book by Apostle G.D. Numbere. The book Digging Deep is a counsel for the born-again Christian. Digging Deep exposes the inevitable trials of faith that comes to every believer and encourages the believer to lay a solid spiritual foundation of faith ahead of the trials. It is a must-read for every believer. Other books by Apostle G.D. Numbere and Pastor Dr. Mrs. Nonye Numbere, A Man and a Vision, The Eagle Christian, Word Killed, Word Maketh Alive, Buying into Another Man's Vision and lots more. Available at the church headquarters, number 47 Isiopo Street, T-Line, Port Hackett and other leading bookshops. Order your copy now by calling 080-334-07909 or 080-331-26028. Thanks for watching. If you have been taught by this broadcast, please contact us today. Contact was brought to you by Greater Evangelism World Crusade.